Hey everybody, Danny Man here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are looking at the Frag by Baptio. They did send this to me for the very purpose of this here review. Crazy thing is, is I the last time I talked to them was before this whole COVID stuff. And then I just got it like uh, two weeks ago, maybe. Anywho. I dig it, man. I definitely do. I, I like the color. Sorry. I like this green. And that's like a leather or pleather. I'm not exactly sure. I'm sure it's got to be pleather, right? It looks like a grenade. I think it's sharp looking, personally. It uses a USB-C, or a USC, however you say it. But it uses the C um, adapter to charge it. And while we're here, I might as well show you a con that I don't like. And that is the um, leather. It can just peel right off. Like, they should have made it flush or something. But instead, it looks like a sticker that I can just peel off. There will be no editing in this video, so I've got to get this right the first time. I got a new computer and new editing software, and I'm still learning it. And it's, um, yeah, it's not as easy as I thought it was going to be. Like, you know, I edited before. Anyways, we're, ah, we're not talking about that. <laughs> let's, stay, let's stick with the, <laughs> with the Vaptio. Frag. There's a lot of neat features on it that I like a lot, but I'll have to show you down here. I like it, and yes, I would buy another one. I like it a lot. It's a it's a 60 watt, a 2,000 milliamp hour. Yeah, let me show you how fast or. Slow. It doesn't go real fast, but let's see. Let's get it. There we go. It's in variable wattage right now. See, it's not real fast. And it'll round robin if you let off and push down again. I'm going to put it at 44.4. And really, it's a better vape at um, 60 with uh, the coils that they included. Oh, my gosh. With the coils that they included. You get a gander here, and you'll be able to see that. The Casto tank. And two... 0.25 ohm mesh coils. So they're the same exact coil. They are not mouth to one coils. And I'll show you why I say that um, as soon as we jump down. So, yeah, let's just go ahead and jump down. Hold on, there's some things here I want to... Okay, I'll stream. Weird. Anyways, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> okay then, I wanted to put it like that so you can see how handsome it is. It's a nice looking little mod, man. I like it. So let's do uh, the tank first. Five ten drip tip. Um, oh yeah, the airflow. I gotta tell you. So, there's three. One, two, three. And I believe it's too much airflow. Uh, you gotta really drop it down if you want to get some flavor. Like, like that. That's how I, I'm vaping it right now. Just to get some flavor because it's got too much airflow. 
Now there's a feature that I absolutely love in this thing. It's super cool. This is a sub ump tank, and I've never seen um, juice con juice control in a sub ump tank. Feast your eyes on that. Now watch if I'm going to take it off, or if I'm going to tighten it, it opens. If I'm going to take it off, it closes. I love that. Now watch. Putting it back on. And there it goes. Okay, so now it's tight. And what if I have too much? Um, maybe my liquid's too loose. I did put a 50-50 in here and it started leaking out. So, it was awesome. All I had to do was shut this down some. So I could shut it down as small as I want. In my mind, that's brilliant. I absolutely love that feature. Another feature I absolutely love is they designed this so that you don't have to even take the tank off to change your liquid or even your coil for instance see that arrow right there on the coil right there watch i like this you guys <laughs> look at that I got, <laughs> pulls right out just like that you guys i don't know why but it fascinates me and it's a mesh coil and it looks good and i've always liked coils that are also the chimney. I think you get pretty good flavor when when they do it that way. So you find that arrow. And um, the corresponding arrow, which is right there. Bam. It's in. Easy as that. Now, one thing I don't like. And that is this <clears throat> for instance let me give you a good reason why I don't like it I can't get my liquid in here unless I have something small like that well I don't have all kind of small stuff okay so I'll take it off right now if you see the white you see the stress mark if I do that a lot, it's going to eventually wear out. And I just think it's, out of all of the brilliance they put into it, this is what they came up with? Uh, it feels rushed. Anywho, yeah. I, I, I'm not a fan of this. But it's not a deal breaker either. Okay. Okay. Now, let's put it back on, and it opens. I love it, but I am going to shut this down some, just like that. Okay, let's get into the menu. Five clicks on and off, uh, turns it on and off. Okay, up and down, buttons, um, push and hold, and it locks. Did you see it lock? Okay, so now I can't turn those up and down, but I can fire it. I appreciate that because once I get my wattage set, then that's where it's going to be. And I like being able to, to lock it. Because sometimes... I'll accidentally like turn it all the way up and then take a hit. Oh, that's wretched. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> oh, come on, darn it. Okay. 
three clicks get you into the menu. Um, actually, let me show you what to do to um, flip the this upside down. When you push and hold these, and you see it lock, you keep holding it like this. Watch. Okay, it's locked. I keep holding. Flipped it upside down. Locked. Keep holding. There it is. Bam. <clears throat> For the menu. One, two, three. Get you in. Variable wattage. Variable voltage. Pre. Bypass. And settings. Sleep time. Vape time. Sleep time and vape time. <laughs> the settings. Um, yeah, that's it, man. That's, that's basic, basically the... Well, that patil, my friends. Things are happening, my friends. Let's go over the cons real quick. None of the cons are, are, are game changers. But... <clears throat> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? The airflow is a big con for me. It's got too much. Too much airflow. And then if you look, they've got a little thing there for mouth to lung. See the little hole? See that little hole there? Well, um, I like Vaptio, but I'm sorry Vaptio, that does not make a mouth to lung vape. What makes a mouth to lung vape is the hole right underneath the coil. It matters how big or small that hole is. So, <clears throat> I'm sorry. But you're not going to get a good mouth to lung off of this. It's just not what it's created for. Anywho, that's that. Um, the airflow. And then that little red gasket. Another. And uh, the um, leather not being flush. <clears throat> those are mine but I like it I I'm using it a lot I like the thing man <laughs> this is Danny Man signing out peace love and happiness